Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Got a new watch to share with you. And as many of you know, I'm a bit of a watch collector, but most of the watches in my collection are really made for looks. Uh, they tell you the day, the time, and that's about it. This is going to be the first watch in my collection that's more feature-driven or functionality-wise. Gives you a little bit more usability. Uh, but what we're looking at today is the Casio G-Shock men's watch. The model number is AWGM100B-1ACR, which is quite the mouthful for these Casio G-Shocks. But uh, there's a lot of variants out there, a lot of different models that will provide you a lot of different features. Uh, this particular one, I came to me it, uh, as, a, as a very cool model. Ran me $124. I purchased it on Amazon.com. Seems to uh, be available through a lot of different retailers between the prices of $115 and $130. I believe the MSRP is about $150, uh, but it has a lot of really cool features, and these G-Shocks have been made since 1983. Uh, there's really something out there for everybody. Uh, what they're really intended for is somebody who's looking for you know, a real durable watch with, with a lot of features packed into it at a reasonable cost. Uh, a lot of law enforcement, military, paramedics, uh, and people in those types of roles really get drawn to these watches uh, because of the uh, features that it provides and, again, the, the price point that it's at. So, um, Some of the things that Amazon provides as some of the basic information is it is made in 2011. That's a 2011 model, I should say. It has a resin-based band and case cover which provides some of the G, some of the shock resistance to it as as you can imagine with the name G-Shock that's kind of the purpose of it and uh, it is a smaller watch compared to a, a lot of the other G-Shocks on the market it is a 46 millimeter case thickness uh, or diameter with a 15 millimeter case thickness and uh, that's again one of the reasons that it drove me to this watch is I have smaller hands or smaller wrists so having a, a, a watch that has a smaller face on it just seemed to be a better fit for me and when it first arrived I didn't know if I would like it but it seems like it fits really well on me guys it's very lightweight it sits on me comfortably it doesn't move around at all and uh, even with my small wrists uh, the band here which provides multiple adjustments can actually get even smaller so uh, if you have even smaller wrists than my little wrists uh, this thing should fit so uh, very cool watch guys um, what it came with in the box here as you can see we have a cardboard box Inside the cardboard box, we have uh, a warranty card, which I believe it comes with a one-year warranty. Uh, we have instructions on how to use the atomic timekeeping, which was one of the really cool features of this watch we'll get into shortly. Uh, we have the quick start guide, and we have the main uh, uh, operator's manual. And I'd say probably this portion of it here is the English directions of it. So it is very feature, feature heavy, uh, which initially kind of scared me. I don't, again, have any watches that are like that in my collection. So I didn't know how well I would be able to use it, not being comfortable or familiar with that. But it was very easy to uh, get in, read it, understand the directions. Using the watch seems pretty easy to get to the features that you're looking for and utilize them. Obviously, it is going to take a little bit of time to do that or get used to it, but uh, it's very intu intuitive. It's not difficult at all. Uh, inside the box also we have the tin for the watch, and it's a pretty standard tin, but nice, uh, you know, for a, a pretty nice watch at a hundred dollar mark. Inside the tin you have just a, you know, a little styrofoam area there, and then this is where the watch came in, and then the original sticker again with that MSRP of hundred and fifty dollars on there. So uh, if you're getting it for less than, you know, I'd say hundred and thirty, you're probably doing pretty well. So that's what came with it, guys, and uh, obviously the watch itself again. What we'll do is we'll take a little bit closer look at the face of the watch and some of the functionalities that come with it. All right, so as we take a little bit closer look at the watch, I'm really not going to get into a lot of the features and the specifications of the watch. I'm really just going to give you an overview of some of the major features which drove me to this particular watch. Uh, there's really really just too much to talk about. I'm sure I'd bore you guys to death. So if you're really interested in some of the in-depth specifications, feel free to jump out on the internet and check those out. But uh, the first major feature that drove me to this watch, obviously, and it says it right along the bottom there, is the shock resistance. You can drop this watch. You can throw it against the wall. You really don't have to worry about beating this watch up. It's really made to take a beating. It's very durable and that's what it's known for. So that was the number one thing that I wanted was a watch that's going to be able to stand up to the range when I go shoot guns. Uh, my automatic movements, I was scared it was going to you know, break up some of my other more high-end watches. So uh, this thing should stand up to it. 
The second thing that really drove me to this watch was the solar panel charging. So the whole front of this face is actually a solar panel charger that charges the internal battery, which obviously is a, is a very cool thing. You're not running specifically off just a battery, uh, which can die and then you need to replace. Although you can replace the rechargeable battery in here, you really should never need to do that as long as you give it some sunlight every now and again. And as far as I understand, a half day of sunlight will provide you 30 days of power and a full charge will give you six months of use without needing to worry about. It. It'll charge off artificial and natural light and it does have a power indicator on the bottom dial here it, over on the right It'll be high on the bottom there It'll be medium and over on the, the left hand side of that bottom dial there It will be low as you can see or maybe not see it's indicating that it has a medium uh, Charge right now and that's right underneath that seconds ticking away there I'm not sure if you guys can make that out or not So uh, some of the other cool things about this watch as far as its power constraints is that it does have a, a power save mode So if I throw it in my drawer at the end of the night if it doesn't uh, have movement or light come on it for a certain amount of time, it'll shut down all three of these dials uh, and really just give you the time on the analog display, which will conserve its power until you pick it back up and move it or expose it to light again, and it'll, it'll turn those features back on. It also has a... Um, uh, power shut off feature so if you're running low on battery power it will actually shut off some of the unnecessary features such as your timer your stopwatch your atomic time clipping your illumination uh, things of that nature so it, it's kind of got a forethought process on trying to save that battery or conserve that battery if you are in a low battery state which is really neat uh, the atomic timekeeping was another really cool feature that kind of drove me to this watch. Every day between 12 midnight and 5 a.m., it tries to reach out and uh, get the atomic timekeeping from your local transmitter, wherever the you know the closest one is. And I'm not 100% positive where mine is out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. I want to say it's Chicago or something like that. So, uh, but it, it'll actually do that every day as long as it's able to receive that transmission. It'll set itself to the exact minute uh, for that you know that time because it's the atomic time. So that's a really cool feature. And if you'll notice over on the right dial uh, above where it says Wednesday, there it'll say received or the abbreviation for received. That means that it actually shows you that it, it did receive that signal from the night prior, which is kind of neat. You can set that to automatically do it every night, which is what I have. Or if you notice that you don't have that receive function in the morning and you, you want to manually try to you know get that transmission from the atomic timekeeping there is a manual mode to accept that as well so that is a really cool feature of the watch the other feature is the world time mode uh, 31 time zones 48 cities you know a lot of a lot of watches have that a lot of digital watches have that but uh, real quickly I can move through the different cities and the different time zones and uh, you know so if I fly to Chicago from Green Bay I can set it to Chicago time or if I fly to Las Vegas or Los Angeles whatever the case is uh, I can I can quickly set those those times and not have to worry about uh, you know setting it manually etc uh, it has a stopwatch, obviously. It's got elapsed time, split time, two finishes, down to one one hundredth of a second. The bottom dial there will actually read out to a hundredth of a second, which is really neat. Um, it has a countdown timer with alarm from one minute to 100 minutes, which I've actually used a couple now times in grilling. It's been very helpful. Uh, it has an alarm, five daily independent alarms, actually, with 60-minute countdowns, uh, the, and that's going to be the right dial. Uh, it's got a beep minute mode, or a beep mute mode, so you can actually stop it from beeping every time you hit a button, which is kind of nice if you're not one of those guys who wants that uh, audible click or the audible um, signal that you've, you're moving between functions, etc. It has an illumination, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's just, it just seems like it's a little LED light. I don't think you guys are going to be able to make that out, but it is trying to illuminate right now as we speak. And again, I don't think you guys are going to be able to make that out. It's not a very good illumination. Even at night when it's dark out and I illuminate it, I can really only see the minute hand and the hour hand. I'm not able to see the dials at all. It doesn't give me that kind of uh, good illumination on it. So unfortunately, the illumination is not the best on this watch. Uh, the uh, hands do have... Um, luminescence to them but I've noticed I had to charge them quite significantly with a LED flashlight in order for it to even work um, and then even then the, the luminescence may be held for a max of four to five minutes so uh, the luminescence on the hands are uh, to be desired it's, it's really it's non-existent really I would say um, the watch hand glows after light charge again it's got a neo bright I guess is the luminescence that they use there um, 
you can move the hands for viewing the digital dials, which I thought was a really cool feature. If I hold down this button is what it does. It'll actually move those hands. And that's probably not the right one, maybe this one. See, I'm still getting used to it, guys. There we go. And I don't think that was it. It could be this one here. Yeah, I believe that's it. So it's moving those hands so you don't uh, have an obstruction of the dials. Uh, so you're able to see those dials. And then I can move those hands back to the original uh, time position. So that's kind of a neat feature. You're able to move those hands around so you're able to see those dials if they're in your way. Uh, it's water resistance to 20 bars or approximately 660 feet, which is really good. And it's got a one-year warranty, like I mentioned. It came with that warranty card. The left dial over here will provide you the digital time and date. And let's see if I can do this without messing it up too bad, guys. Again, I'm not really familiar with these digital um, watches, so getting to know the functions for me was really kind of difficult, actually. Uh, but as you can see on the left-hand dial there, I'm moving between the digital time and the date, 1-2014. Uh, it also provides the daylight, daylight savings time mode on, off, or auto, uh, and then the auto light. Uh, so, for instance, if I have my arm down at my side and I pull my arm up to my face, it will actually illuminate the, the face of the watch. And um, I had that feature on for a little bit and found it was kind of annoying because it kept on going even on when I wasn't wanting to go on. So, draining the power more really than I thought it was necessary. So, the bottom dial over here has the battery indicator low medium high which we already talked about the alarm indicator and a signal indicator I guess which uh, is for the um, atomic timekeeping will tell you you know if you got uh, uh, connection to that and I would I would kind of try to jump in here and show you those guys those those types of features but on, on camera if you're trying to figure that out it's probably gonna be more than what you guys are gonna want to see so uh, the right dial is gonna give you the day of the week abbreviation obviously it's Wednesday it's going to give you a hand movement so you're able to view those dials and as you probably saw you'll notice that that actually starts flashing on the right hand thing there on the bottom just saying that the hands are in the moved position to let you know so you're able to uh, put those back so it's got a hand movement indicator I guess is what it is and it has the mute indicator so if you had it muted and as you can see if you listen I actually do not It'll actually make that audible sound as I move between the uh, the different modes. Quickly before I kind of maybe play around with some of the buttons for you guys, some of the good things that I really like about this watch is it's lightweight, 56.4 uh, grams or 2 ounces. It's small for small wrist, which is really nice. It has tons of features, shock resistant, water resistant, chemical and acid resistant, and the color and aesthetics of the watch are really nice. The bad thing I don't like about this watch is the Neo Bright hand illumination is poor, pretty much non-existent. I really wish it did have that. Uh, the light illum illumination is really only good for the dials, it's, or the hand the hands of the watch, it really provides you no illumination for the uh, three dials there which provides you some of the other information. And the digital readouts themselves are very difficult to see unless you have the exact right uh, type of lighting. So if I'm in a dark circumstance, I can't even read out these dials. It just doesn't work. Uh, you really have to have a good light source on there to make out the uh, the light lighters, light uh, numbers on a dark background. So that's that's one thing to be desired as well But I think that kind of goes along with the aesthetics of the watch I think if they use the white background with the dark uh, lettering uh, it probably wouldn't have looked as nice uh, So that's probably my guess on it So as we look a little bit closer here, guys I don't want to mess around too much here because I'm sure I'll just mess something up on this watch, but uh, going through the different uh, different types of uh, adjustments here we have the world time which, as you can see there, we're in the Kabul, I guess, right now. And I can move it up and down between the different cities. And uh, I think I have mine set to Chicago. Because that is the uh, closest, I guess, to where I am. But it pretty much goes through all those. We also have a stopwatch, which I can start and stop. And again, it goes down to the one one hundredth of a second, which is really nice. I can stop it and reset it. I thought I could reset it, maybe not. I think that's this button here. There we go. I also have a timer, so you can time. And as you can see, I got it set for to five minutes because I was grilling some steaks. 
and I was doing five minutes a side. That's kind of helpful. I usually use my phone, but I find that having it on my watch is actually a little bit easier to, uh, you know, get to and, and reset and that kind of thing. Uh, we also have the alarm. We have five alarms, independent daily alarms, which is real nice. Um, and then back to the main mode here. Uh, we have the adjustment thing here, which will change it between the, the date and the digital time. It's also the way, if you hold it down, that you can make adjustments to everything else within the clock uh, or watch, all the different types of settings that it might have. Over on the right-hand side is the illumination button, which, again, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be able to make out, I don't think. I don't even know where that light really is housed here. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it must be on the bottom. There you go. You can see on the very bottom there, as I turn the button on it, that little yellow LED flashes up. And again, pretty pretty poor illumination if you ask me. Uh, so that's the illumination button. I'm not really sure what it does when I hold that one down. Doesn't look like it does anything. And uh, over on the right hand side, again I don't really know what this one is for. Oh, it's for the uh, atomic time keeping mode. I can actually manually get that timekeeping uh, or atomic time if I want to which I'm sure down in my basement here where I'm doing this video isn't going to work. So, uh, But overall, real, real happy with this watch, guys. It's a pretty neat watch. It's got a lot of really cool features on it, you know, especially with the solar panel watch that being able to charge itself and the atomic timekeeping. Uh, it's just a really cool watch. So I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a durable, shock-resistant type watch with a lot of features at a reasonable cost. This is really the way to go. And it doesn't have to be this particular model. I'd say, you know, any G-Shock really uh, is going to be, you know, an exceptional watch for what you're getting. So if you have any questions, let me know, guys. Otherwise, I appreciate watching. And uh, until next time, take her easy.